Hey friends, I wanted to do things a little bit differently today and do some listings. I'm always showing you what's sold. I'm always showing you things to look for at the thrift store, but I never take you back to my listing station and show you the actual listing process. So I still have this whole bin of vintage toys that I picked up probably a month ago. I paid $10 for this giant bin and I think I have like two or three that are listed. I have sold one. One already sold for $300. So I knew he was a big one. I knew he was going to sell for the most. So I put him up already and he already sold. But I want to go through and kind of go through the process of getting all of his accessories. I've got this whole um, box here with all these little booklets. Um, these booklets, the guy that bought, uh, the skeleton that I already sold, he was asking how much I would want for all of these. However, I want to go through and see who these go to before I separate. So I want to see if any of these go to these and make sure they're put together before I try to sell them the rest. I told him whatever's left, I'll bundle and sell him. No idea on a price, but He's definitely interested. So um, let's dive in. I'm going to go through these one by one. And this may be fun. It might be boring. I don't know. But let's try it out. Turn on the GoPro and let's rock. So again, I've got this bin here of all these little, um, all the different weapons and accessories. I've started some of them. Like this guy here, he came with this um, sword. Okay. I'm probably not going to use the right terminology, so have some grace because I don't know the correct words, but he's got his weapon. All right. Um, this guy, I've already started bundling him, so he's got his two weapons and his funky looking headpiece. So he's complete. I just want to see if he goes to a book. So I forget these guys' names. Um, if you're not familiar with Google Lens, that's going to be your best friend. Um, so I'm going to Google Lens him and see what he was called again. And he is Mum Ra. All right, so we're going to use the eBay app. Mum Ra action figure vintage. Okay, so that's his headpiece. Does anybody have him with his booklet? That is my question. Cause I don't know how I'm going to figure out what booklet goes to each one unless somebody has sold it with the booklet. That's the only way I'm going to find out. Okay. So him complete. He goes to Thundercats. I knew that. Um, he's supposed to have, what is that? It's like a, I don't think I have it. It's some kind of pet for him. <laughs> He's piggy. Okay, nope, I don't have that part to it, but. Um, what is... That's all I have is his sword. Crazy fact, this sword alone, just the sword has sold for $22 by itself. Just the sword. Crazy. Wow, this sword. Now the question, do I want to separate this? Because this sword then, the one that's in his other hand here, with his headpiece, sold for $40 by itself. So that's 60 bucks without the figure. Wow. Okay, so this is brand new. He might not have a book. Maybe Thundercats didn't have a book. It might just be Masters of the Universe. Um, okay, so originally, yep, we got the sword. We got this. We're missing that little figure guy 
and some kind of bullet. I don't know if you can see this on the screen, but there's some kind of um, orange bullet. And I don't think I have that. I definitely grabbed all of all of the accessories. So, yeah. Oh, wait, what is this? <laughs> Just kidding. Hold on. Hold that up. My friends, I have that bullet. No idea what it does, but that's it. Wow. Okay. Eyes light up. Oh, it's his key. See, I'm glad I'm doing this with you. I am learning here. Okay. Eyes light up with secret power ring. Definitely does not light up. I have the ring. He has like this little old school knobby thing to make him move. But the key definitely does not do anything. So, I mean, it's old. What do we expect? But that means it's complete minus that little um, mamut. So he is Mumra, and a Ma Mutt figure is supposed to go with him. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much to these figures that I just have no idea. No idea. Okay, it's a two piece. What does this one go to? So we've got two of these little keys. Okay. Do either of you take a key? No. So we know these are also Thundercat figures. I've separated them by um, family, I guess you could say. So let's see if this key does anything for him. Does not. But this one almost looks... It looks cheaper. I don't know if you can see it in the, in the film, but... This one is, it's heavier, it's better quality. It has the logo on it that he needs. This one is super plastic. Um, yeah, super, super light and plasticky. So this is definitely gonna be the one that goes with him. I don't know what this goes to. Um, the logo is rubbed off. I mean, maybe he goes with both because they look pretty darn similar. But this one's definitely a lighter not as exciting piece but. okay so back to figuring out his price so i'm trying to find the very similar comp um okay here we're getting warmer we found one that sold for 99 dollars, and he has he's got cardboard behind him um, but he's got his head he's got his key he's got his two weapons and him I don't know if the cardboard is just something that this seller is using as a background or if it actually comes with it. Um, vintage, all good condition, arm action, and electronics still work. Okay, so he does not still work. He, he didn't do anything. I mean, how hard could Andy's toys be? You just put it in, right? I don't think there's any magic to him. Yeah, I'm definitely saying that it doesn't work. But that gives me an idea of, of pricing. It sold for $100 free shipping. Um, let's see if there's any more that are like it. There's a 75 working eyes. I wonder what these eyes actually look like. Uh, let's see if anybody has a picture of his eyes lit up. Okay. I might have to take him to the bathroom and turn the lights off. But I think I would see that if, if this was doing anything. No, he's definitely not working. But all right, so even if I list it a little bit low, do you have, you know, get both weapons and the headpiece. 
I'm okay listing high and taking offers. So I might go $70. Um, I'm going to say that the eyes don't work, but or do I want to part it out? Man, why is this so difficult? I am having trouble with this. Yeah, I think I'm going to go 70 bucks and sell it as is with his eyeballs not working. I think that's my final answer. I don't want to separate the parts. I mean, yeah, I can get 60 bucks just for those two parts. That was the recent sold of this and one weapon was 40 free shipping. The other weapon was 20 plus shipping and then figure by himself, five bucks. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go $70 for all of it. Okay, so let's start up my draft. I'm gonna say non-working eyes. Okay. Used. I keep my descriptions pretty basic. Uh, tested and eyes do not light up. Includes all accessories, picture, and key. Uh, so we're going to go 69.90. I always end in 90. I don't know why. I just feel like that's a, a good number. So if someone's saying they want to buy it for less than 70, I'll show up. If someone says less than 70 and I'm listed right at 70, it's not going to show up. So I do that 10 cent thing. And we're going to charge shipping on it. Save for later. So he is ready for pictures. And I'll do that as a separate step. Let's go ahead and bag him. So he is ready with his accessories. So... This little headpiece, this little key, and part of his body, just so I know he goes to it. Okay, so we'll set that aside. He is drafted. All right, let's figure out what this guy was. He should be a little easier if he doesn't have as many accessories. Google Lens to the rescue. He is Ram Man. Um, vintage, because we know these are all the 80s, 90s, original figures. Okay. So he's not worth as much. All right, we got 540 available. $170 sold. Um, yeah, he's only like a $20 figure. But let's get him up. So I'll go 1990 And again, I'll just accept offers. Includes weapon as picture. Please see all pictures for condition. But I think 1990. Save for later. Okay. So that's kind of my system. I go through and I draft it all, and then I go to the picture station and take pictures. Okay, so let's go to this guy. So he was an interesting one. There's one that has a black face that's worth hundreds. That's the one you want to find. He is your average one. Um, not worth as much. I forget his name again, but he is Motu. Nope, that's Monsters of the Universe. Who is that? Um, Grizzlor. And he has his weapon. So he's got his little arrow here. Bow. <laughs> There's a bow. Grizzlore. Yeah, he's about $45. So 650 available. Um, oh, he should have a book. I want to say he's going to have a book. Because the Masters of the Universe is what these guys are for. But it doesn't say... Who is what book? It has pictures on the back when um, of some of its little friends, but I 
None of these have him on there. Oh, here's one with him on it. Grizzlore. So it might be this one. Because I'm guessing if he's on the back, then that's going to be one that goes with him. Because you're trying to complete the series. Okay, that's Grizzlore with a white. But, um, oh, they both have white on there. Okay, so it could be one of that. No Grizzlor. No Grizzlor. And no Grizzlor. Okay, so we've got two of them here that have him on the back. Uh, but that shows a different bow. Where eBay is showing the green bow. So, let's see. Let's go to sold. Okay, so he's got a lot more weapons there. Okay, here he is naked. We don't want that. There's Pouch. Okay, baby, hold on. Yeah. yeah. Son wants a snack. Okay, yeah, the, the one with that black face here is recent of $115. It's crazy. That black face just adds value to them. Um, I'm still looking if anyone has the booklet. So here is... Wow, so some of these little... Th the... Um, booklets are going for like 25 bucks each. Wow. Okay. Sorry. Side note. Focus, Jennifer. Okay. Go back. Mm -hmm. Just trying to find one that has his booklet. Okay. Because I would like to match it if he comes with a booklet. But Not seeing one with the booklet. So I'm guessing it could go then to one of these other figures. And I don't have either of those figures. So these might be ones that I go ahead and lot up for that other guy um, to sell it separately. Okay, so back up to him with his weapon. Um fifteen dollars. Wow, he's not worth as much. 18. All right, he went for 30 free shipping. I can, I feel comfortable with that. He's small, so oh, he is where he's wearing that outfit. Ah, so somebody is selling his little vest separately. Hold the thought there because if that vest adds that, okay, no, it doesn't. Someone's selling weapon and vest separate or vest is on the figure. So $30 free shipping with the vest with his weapon. I'm happy with that. Okay, so I started a draft. Mommy, I don't want the peachy pouch. Okay, baby. Because I want this. No, no, did you already eat the peachy pouch? No. <laughs> I want this. You can't eat a snack and then say you don't want the snack when you already ate it. I don't want it. Well, okay, he doesn't want it anymore. <laughs> I wish that worked for us too. Like we can eat a whole pizza and be like, no, I don't want that and move on to something else. Okay, so we've got draft. I did start his draft. Okay, so resume. Vintage and complete. Okay, so I'm going to probably go 30 plus shipping. $29.90 plus shipping because he is in pretty good condition and I always accept offers. So complete with best and weapon. Good condition and save. Okay, so he's drafted. All right, now 
guess we'll move on to this dude here. I had already found his weapon. His legs are a little weird. But I think that's just part of how these guys are made. Like, they're not, like, hooked in, like, Ken and Barbie's legs. Like, these are, like, string almost holding them. Super weird. Okay, what's his name? You are King Hiss. Oh, he's supposed to have different arms. Do I have arms? I'm not seeing more arms. So let's see what he goes to without his extra arms. Vintage King Hiss. Let's see here. Okay, 200 available. 140 sold. Okay, he does have a booklet. Okay. His booklet has a big face on the left. This one. King of the Snake Men. Spiker Strikes. So, okay. I guess these do tell you, well, not really. I was gonna say they kind of tell you what they go to, but not really. All right, we're just gonna keep doing my system. Okay, so he has his booklet, he has his body, he does not have extra arms. His weapon by himself goes for 10. One arm goes for eight. So funny how, how you can part these guys out. Okay, so he does have a, a shield of some kind. But I am not seeing it. Come. Let's see, find me some cops here. Alright, there's 25. Booklet. Snake. Arm. Okay, if you, well, no. 15. I feel like that booklet's got to add some value. Okay, here's him with only with his real arms, his human arms, not his snake arms, booklet, and the, not this, but his um, shield thing. That Mama, sold for 40. Go potty. Okay. Are potty you break. Hold on. Me? Let's go. Okay. All right. Well, that's mom life for you. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. We were talking snake. And trying to find a recent comp that includes the booklet. So I guess I'll go 30 bucks plus shipping. I think that's going to be pretty close. I'm going to say near complete. Um, near complete. No shield includes um snake staff and mini comic please see all pictures for condition about twenty nine ninety save for later all right, so let's bag him. Let's bag him up. And he's 
ready for pictures. Okay. Who do we want to go for next? This is probably going to get broken up into two nights because I got to get that dude to bed. All right. So let's see what this guy's going on. What's your name? His name is... Man at Arms. Is that really his name? I guess so. Man at Arms Vintage. Ooh, he could be a good one. Okay, 600 available. Two hundred and thirty sold. Does he have his yellow sword? That's him. Pulled out in my bag here. I thought I saw that he did have it. I think this goes to my Ninja Turtle guys. Yeah. So I've already started separating a lot of this. So Ninja Turtles, all of their weapons are in here. All right. I thought I saw his little gavel thing. Must not have. So him by himself, he should have a book. Okay, man at arms. Let's see if any of these talk about it. The menace of trap jaw, eye of the storm. Yeah, rock people to the rescue. None of those scream what I was hoping it was going to scream. Okay, hold on. Here's, here we go. There's his book. It is The Power of Point Dread. It's not like a big yellow thing. Oh, no, I don't have that one. All right, so he's only going to be worth like 20 bucks. He's not going to be worth very much. That was only even 15 with um, the booklet. Yeah, here's the gear and shield. Oh, I'm still looking, still looking. Yeah, I'm going to probably go 20 bucks. Yeah, 19 free shipping. Used. Includes armor as pictured. These are all the pictures for and he's going to get free shipping. All right. Save for later. Okay. So I think that's a good start. Let's go ahead and head over to the picture station and get these guys pictured, inventoried, and listed. All right. Stay tuned. Okay. So you can kind of see here, hopefully the lighting isn't messing us up. I've got overhead lights. I've got those overhead lights. I've got lights going into my box. Um, and this is just a self-made styrofoam poster board box. Uh, the only thing different that I did was I took um, this type of mesh. It was in the sewing department. I don't even know what it was called. It was some kind of, um, it was like a mesh cloth. Um, cheesecloth almost but it was in the sewing sewing area and that's what I used to kind of filter um, the LED lights 
that are poking in here. So that's what's been working for my pictures. If anything is bigger than this space, I just do it on the carpet. But all right, let's make sure we're still recording. Yes. Okay. So let's start taking pictures. Uh, I'm hoping you can kind of see in this box or kind of get an idea. Pictures are probably the easiest, especially for action figures. I just use my phone. I know, it's crazy. I just use my phone. I've got a new Galaxy S23 Ultra. It takes really good pictures. And I'm just gonna flip him over, take his front, take his back. Um, I have, there it is. A little measuring tape. Set that next to him so people get an idea of his size. Okay. Then I will open up the eBay app, go to my drafts, King Hiss, and then while I'm in here, I'm going to upload the pictures I just took. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Upload. We're going to go down, make sure my description is in there, the price, shipping. Most always have to open it and enter your shipping details. Um, this one had a suggested shipping detail, which looks about right, eight ounces. This guy isn't going to weigh very much. Um, and then I'm going to put inventory, custom SKU. I'll throw him into uh, probably A1 right here. There's no rhyme or reason to my boxes. It's literally wherever it fits, it sits. So I just make sure that I log it so I know where to find it. Um, I also promote. So I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but promoted listing, I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to promote at 4%. That's just my going rate that tends to work for me. All right, so let's bag him up again so none of his pieces go missing. And he's going to go into A1. All right, number one done. All right, let's get this freaky dude listed. He stands. Okay. So for his picture, I'm going to keep him standing. We're going to show his little key. And we're going to show his little headdress. Okay. Take his picture. Do a close up, do one look down here, turn him around. Uh, let's put his little headdress on. I feel that there's never such thing as too many pictures. So if you have the capability, the more pictures you can take, the better. I think eBay allows like 20 something pictures. So if you've got to show condition you need to show any flaws take all the pictures okay. he's gonna get a bigger bag all right let's put him in a bigger bag here I don't want his weapons to fall off or get lost so, he is bagged. Let's go ahead and list him. He was Mumra. I'm going to go ahead and load all these pictures that I just took. I took nine of him. I'm hoping you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm going to come down here and under specifics, I'm going to custom skew. That's all the big buddies with the first guy, A1. Then I'm going to come down. Description is already filled in. I did that on the computer. Pricing is filled. Shipping is blank. I'm going to take the suggested one. Um, if you ever have to, feel free to weigh it. I mean, I've got a scale right here. So he might be a little more than the last guy. 
No, he's right at six ounces, and a box is going to be maybe three or four. So I'm going to up it to 10 ounces for shipping him. Um, that'll add about a dollar to shipping. Go back. We're going to come down here to sell it faster. Promote. 4%. List. So hopefully seeing this, the way that I do this helps you. Because so many people do things in such a different order. Um, it's nice to see kind of the workspace and the workstations that everyone else uses. It's nice to see their workflow, I should say. Um, their workflow. All right, you were... Um, Ram Man. <laughs> what a fun name this guy comes with. All right, so I am going to take a picture of him. Of him standing up. His little weapon, his face, turn it around, show his back. Let's do a close up of this writing. Um, he's kind of dirty. Let's get his arm, his other arm. I mean, if you're thinking someone's going to be buying this for collection, I want to make sure that there is no surprises. Okay. So we're going to open up eBay. I'm going to load. One, I think I did already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pictures. Um, you can do this fancy thing inside eBay as well, where you can remove the background. When it's a very simple item, which this one is still kind of glitchy, so I can go in and <laughs> that didn't make him very strong. All right, we're not going to apply that. But you could get a wider background just to make him stand out better because my poster board here is getting a little bit dingy, but I'm not worried. It still looks good. It still looks clean. Um, and once the condition that was used, um, I do need to put in custom skew. Let's put him into, he's got more space over here to R3. I'm going to take the suggested shipping details, eight ounces. We're going to sell faster, promote at 4%, and list. Um, his weapon is kind of tight in there, so I feel confident not putting him in a bag. Oh, what did I say? R3. Okay, and two more. Okay, Harry dude. Grizzlor. No book, right? No. Get his front picture, get his weapon. Close up. Turn him over. Let's get his feet. Close up of his face, his boots, his little arm thing, and maybe the buckles on the back. All right, I feel confident in all those pictures. So we're going to add one, two, stop it. <laughs> Add pictures. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pictures are up. And then I come down. Description is pre filled. Shipping. I'm going to take his standard. Yeah. And preference. Nope. Promote. 4%. And inventory. Um, let's put him. I'll probably go A1 with him as well. I kind of want him up high so the kiddos don't go into it. And list. Yeah. A1. Lay him right in there. Last but not least. This dude, uh, what was his name again? 
man at arms. Does man at arms stand? No, he does not. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take the front picture, take the back picture. We'll take arm picture, face picture, and feet. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. So, add one, two, three, four, five. Custom skew. It looks like I've got the most room up here in A1. You guys are all gonna be buddies. We're gonna, this one I said free shipping. So I'm gonna update the shipping details. Go to free to buyer. I'm gonna sell faster and promote at the same 4%. And list. All right, so you got to see me go from looking up the items, figuring out how I'm going to price them, getting pictures, and getting these guys into inventory. So hopefully you like what you saw. If you learned something, you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.